we're starting all over again. Um, my name is Becky Bushy. I am here uh, representing Clear Captions. We are a federally certified provider of caption telephones, which are designed for folks that have hearing loss. I have brought a phone in for you to get a closer look if anyone's interested in looking at this. Um, just a few things about this telephone so you understand about the phone and about the program. This is a $500 phone that is provided and funded entirely through the Americans with Disability Act. Now this is a regular phone. You speak into the phone like you normally do. You hear the best you can, but the words that you miss, you're able to read on the screen. It's sort of like a huge iPhone mm -hmm. uh, where you get a text and you can read it. So the phone amplifies greater than a regular phone. So the idea behind this phone is that you can hear the best you can so you can be in the conversation rather than saying, can you speak up? Can you hear me? Can you repeat that? That sort of thing. So a lot of folks are able to hear a whole lot better on this phone, uh, which makes that communication really nice. Um, so again, this is funded through the Americans with Disability Act, um, which I'm sure you've all heard of. Um, through Title IV, they established the Telecommunications Relay Fund. So back in 1990, that required all film companies to pay a portion of their fees into the fund. But what that really means is that AT&T and Verizon and all those guys didn't say, hey, I'm just going to throw some money into the, to the fund for everybody. They passed the charge on to you guys right. and to me. You've seen it. It's the universal service fee, as in all things work, right? So since that date in 1990, we have all been paying into this fund. So when the time comes, you have a hearing loss. This is now an entitlement. You have already paid for this telephone. You continue to pay for this phone, and, and you're entitled to it when you need it. It's, it's really that simple. It's one of those things like, hey, I've paid my tax. I finally get something for it. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, it's, that's really the long and short of it. It's that simple. There are only three requirements in order for you to qualify for the phone. Okay, number one, you have to have some form of hearing loss. Okay, and that could be simply, I've told my doctor I can't hear on the phone very well, to I have two hearing aids. So it's within that, that range. Okay, do you need to provide documentation on that? Not prior to that. Okay, but I'll get to that in okay. just a second. So you need to have some form of hearing loss. You know, there's one in every group, right? <laughs> I'm just <laughs> such crazy. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Um, that's fine. You don't need to have hearing aids. You just need to have some form of hearing loss. That's okay. all. So, um, so you need to have a hearing loss is number one. Number two, you need to have internet service in your home because that is how the captions come across the telephone. Yep. And, and I'll, we'll, we can talk a minute about that too. And you also need to have a home phone or a landline. So who is the internet provider here? Comcast? Yeah. Comcast. Okay. And Verizon. And, and, and Verizon. And, yeah, and Verizon, right? Right. So you, the hearing loss we all get, okay, that's, we, we know that one. So you, that means you could have like say triple play with Comcast. If you get your TV through Comcast, your telephone through Comcast, you know, and what else is there? Internet. Yeah. That, that's, that's perfect. Verizon, same thing. If you get your phone and your internet through Verizon, that's great. If you have Magic Jack, if you have Vonage, I had somebody that had like an AT&T cell something that I was able to connect. You just need to have a home phone, not just a cell phone, mm -hmm. okay? And we do need the internet. And we can connect via Wi-Fi or direct to the internet modem, either way, okay? So those are the only three requirements. Now I come in to your home and I will install the phone for you. I will spend some time adjusting the audio to make sure that you can hear as best you can on both the speakerphone and on the handset. And then that's it. You get to keep all your phones in your home. Most people have the cordless, right? So you can walk around and multitask. Mm -hmm. This is just like you just getting another phone and plugging it in. It's there for you for when you need it, okay? 
Now, before I go into some features of the phone, does anybody have any questions about the program and how it's paid for or anything? If, I'm just asking, I have an uncle in Winthrop mm -hmm. who has a hearing aid. Mm -hmm. He has a landline, he has Comcast, he has triple play, mm -hmm. all right? So that would be, is it available there too? Or it's available it? everywhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Now, one other question, if you had one of those, does that interrupt that no more robo that Comcast no. has? No, no. It would it, still work? It would still work. If you have caller ID with Comcast, it still works. If all the features that you have with your provider remain the same, okay. nothing changes. You will not get increased billage from Comcast or your phone company. Everything remains the same. And if it's free? Totally and completely free. Yes. But most people don't have a landline. Right. So, yes, I know that. Right. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna <laughs> segue into the next thing. But some people do. Yes. Yeah. For example. Uh, yeah, that. He does. Okay. Yeah. So come July, I am hoping, at the latest, we are gonna have new technology available, okay? Which is going to eliminate the need for a landline. Okay? So you still need to have a hearing loss to qualify and you still need to have internet access to qualify but it's going to eliminate the need for a landline yeah. and in addition to that how many of you folks have a smartphone okay so you have an iphone you have a smartphone we are later this spring coming out with some technology for an app for your smartphone so not only can you put it on your smartphone, but you can also have a, the home unit as well. Mm -hmm. You're entitled to both of those, okay? Mm -hmm. So that'll help you when you're on the road and when you're, I mean, even I, you get voice messages, you have to listen to them five and oh, six yeah. times. It drives you nuts, yeah. Yeah. right? So this phone and the app when it comes out is extremely helpful. Now the phone also has a couple of uh, things I want to tell you about. Number one, it has an awesome speaker phone. It's, it's dynamite, so can't hear. No. It has a speaker phone. The phone has a speaker phone. So you can, you know, I've, I've walked into folks' apartment, you know, following up with them and they're in their recliner and the speaker phone's on and they're having a conversation with their best friend, you know, two hours away. It's a, it's a comfortable way to talk. If you're talking with your insurance company or, you know, when you call Comcast, you're on the phone for at least half an hour with them, right? Yeah. Great way to communicate. Speakerphone is awesome. Um, can you hear me okay? Okay. Uh, it has a built-in phone book. So for frequently dialed numbers, your kids, your grandkids, your doctor, the pharmacy, the senior center, whoever you call frequently, we can program those numbers into the phone book for you. Okay? And it also has a answering machine. If you choose to use that option on this phone, Okay, so um, not only can you hear the message, but you can read it as well. So when those people call and they say, call me back at da-da-da-da-da, you yeah, I can't hear that. Well, right, You're right, able right, to right. read it. Yeah, okay. Like so fast. So fast. So fast. So there's a lot of nice things about this. A lot of nice things about the phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions? I want to ask you, um, do you have to have a doctor's... Uh, Oh, I was going to get to that. As far uh, as your hearing. Say, say, I think my hearing is going and I haven't gotten to the doctors yet. Um, but do I have to have a certificate or something? You don't. When I install the phone, I will ask them or whomever I'm installing the phone for because we, we are regulated by the FCC, so we have to abide by their rules. Sure. So I will ask the individual to, uh, to sign a, a medical release form that just verifies hearing loss. So if you have hearing aids, that's typically you know where you got your hearing aids. Oh, yeah. If you went to an audiologist to get your hearing tested, then that's where that will go. Mm -hmm. Or just your family doctor mm -hmm. would suffice too, as long as they're aware that you are starting to have hearing mm -hmm. problems. So that would work, but don't be surprised if you do get a phone or at some point in time, that your doctor says, okay, we've got a hearing loss, we're gonna send you to get it tested. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that's mm -hmm. only good practice anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. I, I go have it tested first anyways, you know, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so many places mm -hmm. you can go. 
Who does, do you have a uh, hearing specialist coming into the center? We, there is somebody in town who's been in previously. Oh, okay, okay. So a lot of times then they'll come in and do a hearing test mm -hmm. and, and do that sort of thing. So there's a lot of, a lot of options mm -hmm. for you out there in, in getting that done. Okay, on, on the internet connection, mm -hmm. I have internet connection, but my son-in-law bears the pill. Good for you. <laughs> no problem. <help. laughs> <laughs> I buy it on his TV. Well, whatever. why not, right? That's no problem. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as you have it available in your house. Yeah. Or your apartment, or wherever you happen to live. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I like the idea of it being on the iPhone, though. Oh, yeah. You That's that. nice. Yeah, that, that would fit in better with me, and then I don't have to bother anybody. Yeah. To... Speak up. I can't hear her. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, she was asking whether it was okay if her, her son in law paid for her internet. And I said, that's great. Wouldn't that be great for everybody? <laughs> I, and as long as you have internet access. Doesn't Anybody could pay. It doesn't matter who pays for it. It does yeah. not matter. Yeah. So you're smart. Okay. <laughs> okay. So of you folks here, who has hearing loss? <laughs> who has internet? Oh, you mean you have to have both of those? Yeah, yeah. we're going to do first we have hearing loss. Okay. Well, and then who has internet and who has a landline? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All of the above. All of the above. Good for you. So who would like to have a caption phone in their home to help them communicate better? I wish I could get one. I can't even get one. I want to get tested first. Okay, that's fine. You can you can do both. Oh, yeah. On the internet, though, don't you want to the system? When I got my hearing aids, generally. Say your question into oh, this way so oh. everyone can hear. When I got my hearing aids, we're going to be famous. <laughs> uh, they offered me the closed caption. And I called on it, and they said um, they had to have access to the box. We can connect to a Wi-Fi. We can do a Wi-Fi connection. Oh. Okay. You know, see, they weren't they weren't telling me any of that. They didn't oh. have this nice new phone. And, well, then, may, it and then me on top the of that. Technology yeah. may have changed. Yeah, yeah, it, it may, how long ago was that? Uh, last year. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, and I don't know. There are other companies out there that, mm -hmm. and, and be forewarned too, you can go on to AARP magazine or the Parade magazine out of the, the, the Sunday um, newspaper. There are companies out there that are selling caption phones. Mm -hmm. Okay? So don't spend your money on something that you can get mm -hmm. for free. Mm -hmm. And they just send it to you and say, good luck setting it up. Okay? So, so there is, in other words, I, again, I'm talking from my uncle in Winthrop. He, okay. He has all of the things you're talking. He has a hearing aid, which uh -huh. actually just broke. Okay. But he definitely would qualify. Mm -hmm. He's in, you know, senior housing and stuff. Okay. Um, so there'd be no charge to him at all. No. Never, ever, anything. Okay. It's really, you know, it's it's almost too good to be true. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's one of those entitlements, and you kind of probably are wondering, how come I didn't know about this? Why is it such a secret? I don't know that. I don't know the answer to that, but it is available. Is, is there an age limit? No. There is not. Yeah, because he's, he's 81 now. He'll be 82, yeah. Yeah. No, there is no age limit. And then I'll spend time helping him learn how to use the phone, and he'll have his other phones in the house as well. Okay. Any other? Yes, sir. Does the, does the phone have to be installed where you can get a, an internet connection? Like, we have our phone in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. But there's no internet connection there. The, the internet connections are in the bedroom. Do you have Wi-Fi in your house? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, as long as you get a Wi-Fi signal in the kitchen okay. or wherever you want your phone. Yeah. But there is, the, what I do require, wherever the phone goes, at a minimum, I need an electrical outlet to plug it in, okay. and I have to have a phone jack to plug it into, okay? So, if you want me to put it in the kitchen, but you don't have a phone jack, it's not going to work in the kitchen. It's got to go where 
I can plug it into an electrical outlet and a phone jack, and then the internet I can connect wirelessly, so that's not a problem. So that's going to replace the phone that I have in the kitchen? You can keep both phones. I can put a splitter, splitter. on the line and you can have both phones. Yes, ma'am. You probably already addressed this, but do you have to bundle because we use the internet connection on my daughter's side of the house. We no. live in an in-law apartment, so, but we have... As long as you split. have... Do you, can you get a signal in your house? Oh, yes. Okay. As long as we can get a Wi-Fi signal, that's fine. Doesn't matter. We can use your daughter's. So you don't have we to can bundle. use your son-in-law's. Yeah, no problem. She doesn't have to bundle or anything. No. Okay. Not, I just need the Wi-Fi password. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me okay. call you back. That's it. Yes, ma'am. Do a hard wire with the Wi-Fi? I the can, internet. I have internet. I have hard wire internet. internet. What does that mean? What do you mean by that? I have a line coming from the receiver, which is in Plugged down in the, the living room, mm -hmm. and I have a line going from the Wi-Fi receiver up to my computer because my computer is too far away to get the signal. Okay. So um, I have a hardwire phone line, I have a hardwire Wi-Fi line. Okay. Well, if you have Wi-Fi, that eliminates the need to have any wire, okay? So Wi-Fi is okay. And if you have the hard line for the, for the telephone jack, that's fine as well. That's no problem. Does that answer your question? Sort of. I, I have, you know... No, I, I have a hard... I have... Is your modem I'm in the basement? I have a hardwire internet line to my phone. A hardwire internet line. Where is your modem? Where is your modem? I have one in the living room and one in the up, one of the upstairs bedrooms. A modem or a or a, a router? A modem. Really? Huh. Yes, ma'am. Okay. We have a lot of internet users in the household. Oh. Okay. And everyone was having trouble because it, when you're using the Wi-Fi, you have to adjust the signal. Yeah. And if you adjust it to come into this room, it didn't come into that room. Oh, I get you. And that's when we put the hard wire oh, in. We okay. wired from the modem mm -hmm. to the computer that was having trouble receiving the signal. Okay. All right. Um, you know, it's so funny, you think just internet and, and phone line and everything is pretty simple, right? But I, I'll tell you, every home I go into to install a phone, it's completely different. Yeah. Yeah. It is different. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. not a universal thing. So if I run into a situation where you have Wi-Fi, but I, the signal is weak, for yeah. example, I have the ability to put in what they call a Wi-Fi extender. Okay. which won't cost you anything either. So yeah. I have a lot of, I got a bag of tricks. Uh, depending, de, it's depending on what the setup is like. So to answer your question, yes, I can do it, whatever it is, okay? The only time I can't do it is when you actually don't have internet. That's the only stuff. No, I have everything. Okay. <laughs> I think so. So. It's good. I have teenagers. <laughs> so that's that it. Is. Does anybody else have any questions at all about the program? You want to come up and... Sure. And, and look at the phone and see if that's something that's... Is there an application? No. So, this is how simple it is. If you want it for your uh, uncle, uncle, and do you have hearing loss as well? No. No. Okay. Good for you. So, I just need his... I just need names, addresses, and phone numbers. We pick a date. I come in and install your phone for you, and it's that simple. Gotcha. Because I want to explain it all to him. Yes. I say it's my uncle, but he's only a year older than my husband. Okay, well that's okay. And, and we, that we're brother thank you. and sister almost. That's that's my presentation. Thank okay. you for coming. Okay. Okay. So this is a, a the demo on the phone. If you're talking to grandson Bobby, everything he says appears on the screen. You can make this font size bigger to accommodate your eyesight. The background will change to white if that is more comfortable for you. We can go back and forth. No, we like the black. The options black. here, you can adjust the volume as you're talking on the phone. So cool. if somebody's cool. if somebody is loud, you can turn it down. If somebody's really soft, you can turn it up. Um, it you can go interchange between speakerphone and the handset. Hmm. 
you can mute. So if you want to yell at your husband while you're talking to somebody and get back on the phone, you can do that. You can okay. actually shut off the captions if you choose to do so. Okay. If you find that they're distracting for you and you're hearing really well, you can shut them off. Or you can restart them. If, it, it, if the captioner is not really quite getting it, you can restart and go get another okay. captioner. And you also have the oh, no, flash no, is call waiting. And the keypad is when you get into a phone tray. You'll see the whole screen is taken up with captions. So when you call, say, CVS to reorder your prescriptions, and they say, press one for the pharmacy, mm -hmm. press two. Mm -hmm. for, you know, I don't know why people can't answer the phone anymore, but however, mm -hmm. um, you have to use the keypad function because that's where the numbers come up mm -hmm. okay. for one, two. But this is all the things that I'm going to go over when I come in to install the phone for you. It also will flash when the phone rings. Oh, good. Yeah, and you get to choose your color. Okay, so if you can't hear it ringing, which you will, because we'll work on that as well, set the audio, you will see it flashing, okay, out of the corner of your eye. Okay, so those primarily are the functions. Yeah. But there's no keypad. You have to hit the keypad you have every time you want to use the every phone. Time you, every time you want to use the keypad, you right. have to activate the, exactly okay but hopefully we're not all making those phone calls where you have to use the keypad every time i try mm -hmm. to avoid that so i mean we don't typically use the keypad yes i do oh you do you do yes, for what kind of phone calls local 800s whatever i have to call no no this is the function when you're in the phone call Okay, it has a regular dial pad for dialing oh, okay. phones. The keypad, the keypad is. Oh, okay. is if, I'm just trying to find. There's no, I see no numbers there. You, well, it doesn't show that on this demo. Oh, okay. But the keypad is when you're on the phone and you call your doctor's office. They say hit one to make an appointment. Right, right, hit, right. That's what the keypad function but is, is about. The, on, this is the keypad on. Yes. The this phone. whole screen. When you're not on the phone and you want to make a phone call, you pick this good. up. And this whole screen is taken up with Comes the keypad. Oh, oh, I see it. Yeah, there we go. There it, go. There it is. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So there you go. Couldn't get so any it's bigger. It's not on the phone. Yeah. It's on the pad. Right. It's, on the pad. it's me. Okay. It is me. Yeah. And there it is. There we go. Okay. So the Thank I'm gonna, you. Becky's going to leave us with information at mm -hmm. the senior center. So we'll have you know the brochures and contact information. That's correct. Yeah. So that if anybody at home needs to, you know, come in and drop by and pick up it, yeah. Yeah, we can and they certainly can call make me any questions. For you. Absolutely, Perfect. Perfect. yes. Thank Perfect. you very much. Thank I you very much it. for coming. My That's pleasure. Great. My pleasure. It's really a neat little. <laughs> and thank you, my producer. Yes. 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 <laughs> Merci.